that that needs a drill right through the floor. Yeah. I'm gonna put this in YouTube, yeah, Rick. You don't wanna be in Yeah? You don't I don't You don't care, right? Alright. So Rick is uh, helping me out uh, with the electrical today. So uh, I did all the today I, I drilled all these holes. All these holes I drilled them and then Rick ran all the electrical. So I went through methodically and found out all the holes. So I learned by reading electrical code as well as YouTube again that the best idea is to run a 30 inch from the ground all your runs uh, today uh, i'm also videotaping this so it will be a record for me to look back how I, my electrical is wired so you can see my first run for this room a circuit for this room my first run my run comes to this uh, plug here right um i'll show you what my what my wardrobe looks like why i have a plug there i have an example in another room i'll show you that so that's my first outlet and then from this outlet uh, i'll go to my switch so it goes up i'll go down comes back down to here will be my switch a fan in the middle of the house and then a four led lights so right in the middle will be a fan switch for the fan and then Four LED lights and the fan probably have a light too. Maybe it has a light, maybe not, depending on how the LED is. Right? So every room, because this this house has a 10 feet and a half ceiling, in the sum in the, in the winter time, all the heat will rise up. All the heat will rise up and stays up. So and we need a fan to bring the heat down. So every room is gonna have a small fan. I will calculate the size of the fan anyways. So then from here, this is one circuit. I have about seven circuit in this on this floor for uh, light and outlets, uh, not dedicated ones. And then there's another seven dedicated for the uh, fan coil, and then the fridge and dedicated for the fridge, the stove, all that stuff. About like 10 or 15 circuits. Sorry, up to like 15, 18 circuits in this floor. So this one goes up. Oh, it comes down from the other side down to a switch it goes up through there to another outlet I kept my outlet at four feet high along some walls because if in case I have a bed or a dresser uh, where I know for sure I don't have a bed or a dresser is at 18 inch right otherwise it goes for four four feet okay so I have outlets here too so that's this is one circuit I was just talking about I keep all my circuits for this bedroom uh, and uh, one circuit, uh, all same circuit, a light for this, this walk-in closet, a light for the washroom, right? A light for this big bedroom and about eight, seven, uh, sorry, 11 outlets are on one circuit. Separate from all the other bedrooms. I wanna separate the bedrooms because these days, uh, children, you know, especially have girls, they, they're going to be, I don't want them to be in the same load because they're going to be tripping, uh, tripping the breakers all the time. Yeah, Rick is laughing, eh? Dangerous statement. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to keep it in the you same load, right? With that yeah, yeah. Dangerous. You think it's dangerous, eh? <laughs> Why? Well, separate in uh, each bedroom, its own circuit is a good idea. I just thought about that. This is all me thinking. And plus, uh, these are 12, uh, 12 gauge, but two, two, two twelve, right? Um, they come from the other end. I try to keep my panel. I'll show you. And the other circuit, the second circuit. There are seven circuit, main circuit, seven main circuits. The other are washrooms have their own circuit, but there are seven bedroom and living room circuits. So this is the second circuit. It comes in, sorry, it comes in. It comes in there, right? It goes to the first outlet here, right? And then goes through that hole and to first switch for laundry. And it carries on, I have a hole there, it carries on, 
I gotta finish it up. So another outlet there, another outlet, and there will be a switch, a switch for this room, right? Again, every room will have, so it's two switches, every room will have a light switch and a fan switch. Now, I only have one outlet on this wall because I'm gonna have a wardrobe. So I have a rough drawing of the wardrobe. So it's Ikea wardrobe. Uh, what's gonna happen is that the 39 inch wide, Ikea comes in 39 inch wide, and another one, the uh, 19 inch wide, uh, they come standard, the PAX uh, system. It's got about four or five drawers and then uh, hangers, right? And then this one will be a long hanger, okay? And here is open, a table, a four feet table, maybe a small screen for the children to study. And then another shelf here, Ikea shelf, which is 19 inch. Then I have the up above here, about 30, in, 30 inch high, uh, about all across 30 inch high cabinet, Ikea cabinet. I think 15 inch each, right? These are these are kitchen cabinets that I have here. Hold on. They're cheap, like 30 bucks or something. These chicken kitchen cabinets. These kitchen cabinets, they are, if I show you, 30 inch high. They're 30, 15 inch high. It's two of them, so I'm gonna stack on one on top of the other. And these are 24 inch deep. But the pack system is about 22 inch deep. So I'm going to have to pull it forward a little bit. I'm going to have to pull it forward a little bit. Okay? I'm going to have to pull it forward a little bit, so too much. So, so this entire wall is a wardrobe. Um, so yeah, so Rick ran these cables here, right? He's a bit metallic, like, he's precise, you know. So, so you run it to there, right? Again supposed to be a bed there so it's high at four feet high the outlets you can put them anywhere but the code for the lights has to be no more than four feet high so that's four feet uh, some outlets are for example this room here I have them at four feet on that corner four feet over here Samsung uh, made this room as well and then and then at 18 inch, those two are at 18 inch. This is the other circuit. I run it to a, a switch first, right? And then from here, I will carry on up, up through there, through that hole, and it comes out. I gotta run, uh, I think Rick's gonna run the cables tomorrow. Comes back out that way, and it's gonna come down here, out to the first outlet go through there the second outlet and it will keep going around the room keep going around the room to the other side right to the other side and to that outlet so on so on so this is the second circuit um, you know each one will be close to uh, 150 feet I would say uh, at least the shortest run I have is about 50 feet, probably to this room. I would say like 80 feet is the shortest, shortest run I have. The longest run I have is to that room, I think. It is 150 feet, as well as this room also is 150 feet. All right. So this is my electrical. So this is also another one. Uh, I have another circuit for the hallway. So the first circuit for the hallway, it comes in to this outlet here, right? It goes to an outlet over here. Uh, actually, that outlet gonna get rid of it. Probably be a switch here, which I forgot to do. I will do it. It will be a three switches. One for the staircase, every staircase on the landing as well as down below has to have a switch. So it is four way switch, one, one here, one down there and one down below. And then a switch for a fan, 
I'm gonna have a fan up here and a fan over there and another fan over there, right? So, uh, a fan and a light for this area. Then it will continue on for the outlets to that one. And it's gonna go underneath there and it's gonna come to this one for the TV and to that one and I, uh, for the TV. And then we'll continue outside, uh, light and uh, an outlet outside. So that's one run. Um, but then I also have a smoke circuit, which I have to run. That one probably gonna be tied to a light in this area, six lights, as well as a fan. So that uh, we know that the fire alarm system uh, we know if, if, it's not, if the breaker is tripped or whatever, if it's not working. All right, so that's uh, the one I have is rough, it takes time. Uh, no, I mean, I haven't even touched the circuit that runs to the living room here, uh, but I have it in design and I also do not touch the dedicated lines in that area. So Samsung is working on the... Um, <laughs> Working on the uh, uh, corner, what do you call it? Pantry, sorry. Uh, but also, he did uh, all the muds, all the muds for the drywall that he put. And then we have to wait for the inspector to come. He kind of mentioned to me that. I wasn't supposed to move in, uh, but he said it's frowned upon that uh, owners, uh, if you know, if it's not owners, if it's business people building a house, uh, they would not allow them to move in. But owners, uh, sorry, homeowners, they kind of let them do whatever they want. Um, you can only get the permit when everything is complete. I mean, if I'm DIY guy, it's gonna take a while before things are complete. So that means I'm not gonna be living in the house for a while until I get the permit, which is gonna take a while. Especially in Kingston, they're building a lot of houses. He's extremely busy uh, and uh, it will take a while before I get my permit, occupancy permit. But this house is safe. I have everything I need to live in it. I'm also, this, uh, this winter is gonna be more safer because I will have electrical outlets everywhere. I will have a kitchen, I will have a washroom, and I'll also have my fan coil. Uh, about five fan coils left that I have to purchase. Uh, this is the stuff I was talking about. I have two of them here, but uh, it's gonna be five more fan coils on for this floor because this area is about 2300 square feet area i think 2350 square feet the uh, on the, the uh, that is uh if you were counting the oh, inside if you count in the outside 2400 right it depends who you ask but houses are measured in square feet, mostly from outside dimension to outside, in outside dimension. So if you, now, if you count the outside dimension, it would be 2,400 square feet on each floor, right? Okay, so because of that, this is a big area and uh, the wires have to run long. So here, uh, Samsung covered this area for me, so I'll say thank you. Uh, and uh, I run these cables, none of them are plugged to the panel and I forgot to label them. I guess I bought some label maker, but I did not label them. I know what they are, so no biggie. So it's a little bit messy, I, I covered it, but uh, like I try to keep the electrical panel central. So there's 200 amp, it's central to the house. Uh, it's, it's 200 uh, um, breaker panel and that's the main switch there right and there's another 100 amp which I will use 
for most of my uh, most of my um, utilities uh, and also as some some circuits in this area, right? Uh, my fine coil, for example, I'm gonna rent from 100 amp circuit. Okay, yeah, and I, I uh, you know, I have the design. You know, I know, I know what I'm doing when it comes to electrical and the heating and cooling of the house. I got everything down, no problem. Okay, thank you. Bye.